Hey everybody, we're going on a picnic with our sunset rice bowl, the recipe of the week. And I want to show you how I'm putting it together tonight and talk to you a little bit about resistant starch. Resistant starch is what feeds our healthy microbes plant fiber to produce butyrate, one of the most protective short chain fatty acids that healthy microbes naturally produce. So check it out. I pre-cooked my rice, a double batch last night for the sunset rice bowl, so that I could have it again today. And that improves the resistant starch in my brown rice and I'm using forbidden black rice, half and half in this recipe. It's very hot. <laughs> I reheated it. So by chilling our brown rice, or any rice, down overnight and then reheating it, we increase the resistant starch. Now if you're just getting started on a whole food plant-based diet, like a protective diet I hope, you want to go easy on this resistant starch. If you're a pro like Jerry and I and many of you in our community, and your body is accustomed to a high fiber diet, you're ready to do this little maneuver, increasing the resistant starch in your diet to increase your microbes butyrate production so that you have this anti-inflammatory bath. I call it the butyrate bath, flooding throughout your entire system. It floods through your blood, through all your organs, even up into the blood brain barrier. It passes it to reduce your risk of neurodegenerative disorders. We know this. It's proven in science now that we can cut our risks of Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, dementia, all of these things with these practices that we do every single day on a protective diet very easily with my kitchen system and the recipes that I share with you every week. So here I have my air fried Brussels sprouts in. This is how we make the sunset rice bowl. And I named this rice bowl after Snow Canyon, or I should say Southern Utah's sunsets. We're gonna go there tonight. I'll show you some pictures of that as well, where I got these colors for this sunset. So the rice is, I use forbidden rice, which is a black rice to mimic the landscapes here of all the black lava from the volcanoes from years ago. They're inactive, thankfully now. And I have my cilantro. I have some chives from my garden. Those are optional. Here, we it is mango season, everybody. So we're taking advantage of this sunset color. Here I have two honey mangoes that are diced with the peels on because Jerry and I are accustomed to the high fiber and our good healthy microbes love that fiber. Here I have a red onion that's going in. I have some, some chopped red cabbage because I'm an overachiever. The recipe calls for that or our ruby rock kraut. Here's my two mango pits, which I'm saving for Jerry. Thank you. <laughs> I'm also to tossing in some ruby rock kraut because I have it. I always have that candy. And hopefully you saw a couple weeks ago we had a shaved fennel salad. I don't know if a lot of you got into it because fennel's a new veggie to some of you. But in that recipe, in the notes section, always read the notes and the pro tips on the recipes. I talked to you about making carrot curls in ice water. I'm adding those in. This gives our dish raw variety and texture and lots of different plant fibers because that's what our microbes live for, especially that resistant starch. In the future, we are going to see food product labels that say high in resistant starch 
because studies are showing how protective these resistant starches are when we include them in a diet and we have the microbe population to digest that resistant starch in our lower intestines. And that resistant starch passes through our digestive system all the way down to our lower intestines mm -hmm. to meet up with our healthy microbes. They ferment and digest that resistant starch, producing the butyrate, causing this butyrate bath, this anti-inflammatory bath. Here I am stirring up this gorgeous, gorgeous sunset rice bowl. This teriyaki sauce has such outstanding flavor and it's sugar-free and low sodium and free of additives compared to your bottled teriyaki sauces. If you haven't given this one a shot, it's a quick prep blender recipe and it's raw. Tossed into this warm rice bowl, we're keeping it raw, all those protective polyphenols in that sauce. So this is a lot of our protection on a protective diet is the sauces, dips, and dressings that we add to all of our raw cooked veg and resistant starch. I'm going to plate it up in my to-go bowls here for our picnic. And I'm also gonna show you what else we're taking on our picnic tonight. Okay, into our bowls. And this rice bowl is good, hot or room temperature, or even cold. And the one thing we can't forget to pack with our rice bowls is chopsticks. Very important. A fork, just in case Jerry gets annoyed. And no, he likes to eat with chopsticks, but if he's really hungry, he wants a fork. So I put it in there just in case. And then I have these two little spoons for a new recipe that I'm working on for you. This is a chia seed yogi bowl that is made banana split style. This is what I've been finishing all my feasts. You know, we're one meal a day or so. We eat our feast at sunset, and I always need something a little chocolatey and a little sweet with fruit, sugar-free of course, to finish my meal. I call it a meal finisher. It closes it off for me so that I have that like palate changer, really satisfying, creamy, something sweet with the fruit, and of course it's protective. I'm also packing in some sprouts I've got lentil, broccoli, and alfalfa sprouts here. Check out that protective sprouts recipe if you haven't gotten into sprouting yet. And we can top our bowls with that. Then I also have some protective. This is an option on the Sunset Rice Bowl. If you wanna add some legumes, some beans, some chickpeas into your dish for more of that resistant starch. So these are seasoned air fried chickpeas. To spice things up a little, I'm packing those in my picnic bag because I don't want them to get soggy in the hot rice bowl. Same with the sprouts, I'm gonna keep them cold. With my meal finisher, my dessert. And then here I have a beverage I've been working on. It's a chia seed beverage. This is gonna be a great one for those of you that can never just get full. So start your meal off with this. I'll show you how to make this soon, coming up in protective diet education. And this is packed with polyphenols, another favorite of our gut microbiome. And it's very sun protective. So if that sun's setting and shining on us, Jerry and I are getting it all. If it's not in this sunset rice bowl, it's in these bottles. Chia seeds, they're a resistant starch. So in here, I've been testing a new variation on our homemade soy milk. So I had to test it out on some hot chocolate, some choco tonic for us to finish up our meal along with our desserts for when it gets cool, for when that sun sets. 
going in there. I'm going to put that in my hot bag along with two mugs. And of course, some napkins. Back up this last rice bowl and we're out the door to Snow Canyon. Get outside and enjoy nature. We pick up a lot of microbes from nature. Take your shoes off, hit them in the sand. There, there's some beautiful red sand that we'll be able to put our feet in while we sit at a picnic bench or on our blanket. Get those feet to the land, to the ground. Ground yourself, pick up nature's microbes. It's proven to change our mood, to help fight depression, and to help populate and collect new microbes for our resident microbes population. We are building our microbiome on a protective diet and it's a big part of protective diet education and on the bottom of every single recipe I talk about the microbiome population project. I'm on a mission to help you populate yours and protect yourself with the foundation of our immune system. So many charges. Go to the right. That's correct. It's not illegal. Mm. Utah State Parks, Snow Canyon. What do we have here, Julie Marie? Oh, well, I don't have it all. Oh, up yet. not quite anything yet. Just some sprouts and some. Chip roasted chickpeas. This I decided to put back in my instant pot bowl because we're just down the street from our house. So I decided that it would be better to pack this whole batch because you know I'm eating with Jerry. Mm -hmm. And so I have our drink. You know, you saw it all. We packed it up inside. Um, here's our bowls for our sunset rice bowls, just in time to watch the sunset. That red sand looks amazing. And Jerry took his shoes off. Mm -hmm. I took my shoes off. I'm picking up nature's microbes. Oops. And here's Jerry's sunset rice bowl. Top it with some sprouts. Jerry loves the sprouts. Oh, I sure do. Yes, indeed. And our air fried seasoned chickpeas. Who doesn't love those? Mm. If you haven't made those yos yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. 
Hi. Here's oh my spinner. gosh. This is epic. It's like we're on the beach, but, but so much better. <laughs> but no wind. Uh -huh. It's hard to believe this is real, Jerry. Southern Utah. We found the sand dunes. We're picking up nature's microbes. And this is about five, how far from our house? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. We've got to make a point to come here more often. The dogs love it here, but we left them at home tonight so we could film this for you with a little peace and quiet. And some sunset rice bowls mm -hmm. on a protective diet. Take care. And best of health.